Kill me, I'm here! Kill me! Hey everybody, this is Magic Movies coming at you with my review of The Belko Experience, a movie that's technically considered 2016 because it premiered at the Toronto Film Festival in 2016, but really came to theaters just recently. This movie was very interesting to me. This movie is written and produced by James Gunn, the man behind the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, and if you know him from that and you're expecting him to, get, to put out something that's even remotely similar... No. Now, personally, I knew some of his earlier work, like Slither, so I knew kind of what to, to expect, that he is a big fan of horror movies, and he's perfectly okay with gore and all that kind of thing, and that is something that you definitely need to know going into this film. This is a film for people who are horror fans. This is a film for people who like films like Saw and stuff like that, but it's not torture porn like those movies are. It's not really all about just the grisly death of all these characters. It's much more psychological. Basically, for those of you who have no idea what this movie is about, which it's not a huge movie by any stretch of the imagination, so that would be perfectly understandable, there is a company called Belco that it takes, it exists in this world, and basically they're in a foreign country and they do things you don't really 100% know exactly what they do, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. But anyways, there are a lot of foreign workers that come and work here. And one day, all of a sudden, there's extra security. And they're sending away all the nationals, the people who live in the country, and only letting in the foreign workers. And it's not really explained at first. But then, over time, you fig figure out that they've let all the foreign workers into the building. And then they've shut off the building. And they have a PA system. And they announce to everybody that they have that they're go willing to kill everybody and they're going to kill people and they're going to give you instructions and if you don't follow them to the letter you're going to kill like the first instruction you get is this there are 80 people in the building you have two hours to kill 30 of them if you don't 60 will die instead and you find out pretty early on that they in the film they set it up where they were putting tracking chips in the back of these people's heads because it's in a country where people get kidnapped all the time so they're supposed to be there in order to keep the people safe and all of them all the employees go along with it really willingly thinking that it's going to keep them from being harmed but you find out that they've actually injected a bomb into the back of their neck so if they don't follow their rules in, in two hours they're going to push a bunch of buttons or turn a bunch of keys or what have you and they're going to die and it just kind of goes from there and it once that situation's out they tell you that you have to do this or that's going to happen it just goes from there so it's much more of like a psychological film and it's much more about how these people who were friends and friendly and cared about one another in this situation of kill or be killed starts turn on one another and the starts off with more of a debate over like are we going to sit here and try to think of 30 people to kill or we're going to try to escape this and somehow and you have these kind of warring factions and all that kind of thing and it just was really really fascinating I thought really really well put together there's nobody super famous in this movie like you have John C. Riley, you have Michael Rooker, John Gallagher Jr. People like that. People that big film fans may recognize, but a lot of people may not know their names. John C. Riley being the guy who played Perry Cox in Scrubs. Michael Rooker, of course, plays Yondu in Guardians of the Galaxy. He has been in all of James Gunn's movies. John Gallagher Jr. is best known for playing one of the main characters in the newsroom. None of those names are huge, and this movie does not rely on huge a huge budget, does not rely on any big names. It's all about the concept, and personally for me, I loved it. I loved the concept. It really, really was cool, but I'm a big horror fan, and I just really liked the idea of the film, the, the mental gymnastics that you would go through if you were trying, if, in that situation, and the way it's written, like where you have a character that's trying to cut the bomb out of his neck, I thought was great. Stuff like that, where they, it's really thought out, and it's really feels realistic in an unrealistic situation, if that makes sense. And I just really, really liked it for that. And don't get me wrong, there is definitely gore in this film. So if you're squeamish, not the film for you. But for me, I liked it a lot. And if you're a horror fan, I think you might too. So those are my thoughts on the Belko experience. Let me know in the comments below what you think. If you've heard of the film, if you're a James Gunn fan, if you've seen Slither, let me know. Other than that, please hit that like button, hit that share button. It does awesome things for my channel. It makes it much more likely that people will discover my videos that wouldn't have otherwise, which is something that just makes me so, so happy because I love having people to talk to about movies and 
in that vein. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. It will let you know when I put out new videos and you can come. Let me know what you think and that would just make my day and make me so, so happy. Other than that, have yourself a nice day.